Many months of hard work and training had been leading up to this point. Since the beginning of the semester, it was all anyone could talk about. So when 8 a.m. Tuesday morning came around, and it was finally time to load up the bus and hit the road, I think everyone was feeling the same level of excitement and anticipation. This was it. This was the moment we had all waited for. So we eagerly tossed our bags into the back and headed down the highway towards the French River. Once we arrived at Hartley Bay Marina, we unloaded the canoes, made sure we had all our gear, and took one last minute washroom break before we zipped, clipped our life jackets, and hit the water. And yeah, that's kind of where it all began. How are you feeling, Ward? I'm feeling like, uh... In for a long paddle, you know, it's gonna be tough. I'm uh, gonna be paddling for many hours. It's gonna be a real learning experience. First time canoeing and going to camp. Huh, what's your uh, confidence level? Uh, quite low, but yet quite high, because I trust the people in my group, they got experience, I trust everybody around me, and I trust the people in my group. Beauty. After we set sail, we began the 40 kilometer journey to Georgian Bay which would be our first campsite. So my new pair of shoes down the river for go. Knock, knock, knock at the door, but mist is not cold. Out in the desert, my lady left years ago. We were in for quite an awakening during the first few hours of paddling. I think I can speak for most of the group when I say paddling against the current in wet weather and trying to keep the canoe in a straight line in the wind was not the easiest task, and certainly not what we had expected. But luckily, we came prepared and we learned quickly how to make the most out of Mother Nature's surprises. stop on a small island about four hours in led us to the first portage, a simple pullover to get around some rapids, then followed by a short one kilometer hop into Bass Lake. From there, it was only a paddle dip to the first site of our voyage. Thank you. 
tell us what happened. <laughs> so, I was sitting in the canoe, and then I tried to readjust, and all of a sudden something happened with my knee where it, like, popped out. And then I got carried like a goddess over a portage and then put into the water, which was quite exciting. Uh, I sat here and sadly ate a pack of gushers, <laughs> and now I'm getting taken out of here. So, that's my conclusion here. Down a crew member, and with a fun adventure story told by Mr. Beavers, we unpacked and began to set up camp. Jen, you probably know how to climb a tree, huh? Yeah. We should climb trees tonight. Girl! What? Setting up the tent? <laughs> cool. Cool beans. How are you feeling right now? Oh, I thought it was a picture. That's embarrassing. Um, okay. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> How's this trip been so far? How are you feeling about the portages? They're my least favorite part, but it's pretty good overall. Enjoying your nutritious values, Allie? Yes, until you walked over. Oh. <laughs> what is cocaine over there? <laughs> We followed this unpacking with a dinner of rations and fajitas, and even found time for a swim in the frigid waters of Lake Huron, as well as some unapproved ways of doing dishes. Here we have Koski picking up his beans <laughs> out of the lake. Is that actually on the card? Yeah. <laughs> but my plan is to just shove them all under this rock. Here we have the contraband in the lake. <laughs> The toxic beans. I'm just gonna put them all under the rock. Beavers will never know. The toxic beans. It was then time for a little fishing trip, as well as a campfire before bed. We're a happy family. Sitting around the campfire. We're a happy family. I'm just gonna just gonna smother the fire real quick. Taking a picture of you, taking a picture of me. <laughs> you don't know that song? I don't wanna know that song at this point, Koski. I'll go tomorrow. Taking a picture of us all. Taking some video. You know? Yeah, I think it's safe to say I'm not going to get a record deal anytime soon. After that performance, it was definitely time for bed. We all hit the hay pretty early, excited to get back on the water the next day. And hopefully catch a monster of a fish in the process. What's in there? Morning, ladies and gents. Got some breakfast, Ward? Yep. Beauty of a morning. Gee, <sighs> hey, man. Tell me about the sleep last night, bud. That's pretty good. <laughs> Could have been worse. But, you know. So, <laughs> Ward, how is the sleep? Solid. That's yeah, it? You paid for it, we didn't pay anything, so. Uh, <laughs> I, I got better than Sam, how was your sleep last night? Did you sleep at all? Yeah, I did. I had a really comfortable, um, not mattress, but, you know, thing. Cool. Beautiful today. What's the plan? 
Well, the plan is, uh, are you like recording this? Yeah. You gotta shoot. <laughs> Jeepers, I'm not even ready. I'm eating breakfast. Uh, the plan is we're gonna you know, have breakfast, pack up, and then we're gonna start heading back up the, up the river. And sure. we'll just see which route we end up taking, how people are feeling. It's a beautiful day here. After battling strong winds all day, we set up camp on Wanapate Bay. The first site we wanted to go to was occupied, so we were happy when the second one was open and we didn't have to paddle back. It was also Cody's birthday, so we celebrated with some fancy decorations, some s'mores, and a campfire. sticks in the starlit sky and admiring the beauty that the river had to offer. Like a feather will float in our gum tree canoe, sing and roll away, roar the waters so blue, like a feather will float in our gum tree Day three was the easiest for paddling, with some of the most beautiful glassy water reflecting the greenery and rock formations that constructed the shoreline around us. A 
quick card game and an oatmeal breakfast gave way to the 10 kilometer journey back home as we floated peacefully east towards the marina. are silent but I'm just passing through I make my way down the river to you I hold your hand in my dreams but I paddle when I'm away Though we were exhausted, smelly, and full of mosquito bites, I don't think any one of us was ready to leave behind the wonderful memories, friends, and experiences gained over the course of the trip. So the return leg was definitely a reluctant one for all of us. It was a good trip. It was really nice. I think uh, uh, it was pretty, it was beautiful. And uh, I'd like to do it again sometime. And it says, remind me what it's like to hear still waters roar. trip I mean best trip ever yes we had some good weather uh, we had a little bit of rough rough uh, weather but everyone made it through sleeping in my bed for two nights really uh, wore me out a bit um, I'm looking forward to getting back to my bed yeah. uh, other than that a great group and uh, people worked really hard it's super fun all right yeah thank you